Welcome back guys. So I was supposed to create this game pausing here now but looking at this now I'm seeing some irregularities around this anatomically that I need to fix. That's just it's in there. Once you just go out of this and take a break and then come back to it, kind of figure out that there's always something else to fix and to correct. So I'm not going to fix that quickly. It shouldn't take too much time to fix, I believe. So uh so mine it's like it has a longer neck to him, so that I'm going to fix. I need to go to the layers. Then it should be on primary forms. I record this. I go to lower subdivision level. We still make return on. So I'll go like roughly halfway around here like so blow this out a bit more inverts blow this out some more turn off symmetry center this raise this up slightly like this yeah something pretty much like this turn off symmetry Yeah, symmetry turn down now. I'm just going to raise with the move brush. Also, I'll start by extending this backward a bit more. Like so. A bit more. Okay. Come to the side like so. Raise this. No, smooth is way too much. Probably that's way too much. Let's turn this down somewhere around here like so. Yeah, something pretty, something pretty much like this should be fine. Just trying to average things out a bit more. Okay. Maybe the neck is way too wide, so let's change that in something pretty much like this. this is perfect. Now the height of the score, I'm not too sure about the height of the score though, but I would like to change this back in some more like so. Yeah, something like this, something like this should be fine. I'll do a quick save. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Have I saved? Did I save? Okay, I just save this. Yeah, so that should be <clears throat> that should be fine. Yeah, that was fast. Oops. Did that quite quite fast with that so <coughs> something like this in the back of the head won't really matter that much though but just to get things looking a bit right yeah score shape is, off, is okay all right so ah uh, figure out this distance in between here Okay. Then yeah, let's let's get this game point there. So X Y Z game pause. Let's on record that. Record this game pause now. Put this all the way here. And so, and let's get the reference for this game pause. This around here. 
I like to start with four. But that would be that's like the center center point of everything. So back to the standard brush. Let's see if I can. Okay. Okay, so standard brush. So it's female twenty, female face twenty is all one. Let's start with four. So Double tap on that, so it should appear on the alpha slot in here. And under alpha, under alpha, we should under alpha go to modify. Mid value should be around forty ish. Let's say forty five or or fifty. Radial fade should be on ten. So. Radial fade means that the edges of this is going to be faded out. So we don't have some kind of rounded edge when we kind of draw out the and we kind of draw out the alpha on this. Let me just kind of show you guys so you guys can actually see what I mean. So I should put this all the way down to zero. And mid value to zero also so I come close around here and I drag this out you can see how it creates a lump you can see this lump is creating on the edges there's a lump around in the center part and there's also an edge like a lump on the edges also so we don't want that that is why we that is why we um need to use this mid value to 45 to reduce the height lump it's great for us like an height information it's great for us on the center parts then just kind of fade out the edge something like so <clears throat> so this should be like directly on the center so somewhere roughly around the uh, like so so the, the main, main thing is just to find the directionality of it, but this looks pretty weird. Just to wash, this feels so just way too wash. It's digging into the model way too much than I want it to. So that's where we need to kind of iterate and then look for something else that would work. Can I remove this? Can I remove this from the list? No, I cannot. This is going to be on textures. It's not. I don't have <coughs> this all over the place. That's why. <clears throat> but that will not work. Let's go down to the next one. Should be around the same. Four. I'll just repeat the same thing. Ten forty-five. Zoom this out again, like so. <clears throat> Drag this out. Yeah, this one feels. This one looks a lot better. I guess let's zoom in and see. Probably. Uh doesn't look doesn't look good, doesn't look good, doesn't look good. Mm, it's not looking it's not looking good enough. Just feels way too noisy in the center. It's way too noisy in the center. It's just too much noise in the center. And do that. Probably let's take down the intensity. Let's see. Yeah, much better. Yes, this is definitely work. 
is definitely better. Let me get this, put this around the air. I don't want this interfering too much with my with my workspace. Uh, I don't know. This looks fair enough, though. Yeah, this looks fair enough. This looks fair enough. For me, distance that looks fair enough. Okay. Let's see if we can put another one around here. Like so. Yeah, that should be fine then. Guessing I will just carry on. Guess I'll just carry on with this. With this spotlight and what we already use in this face. Female face. Old, female face 2009. Which is this one down here. If I encounter another issue again, which is I'm going to switch this to the next one so I can use something a bit better that will work for this character. I'm using a younger face, Kim Pause, because this is a young, I'm looking on a younger face. This guy's a younger face, so he should probably be in his 20s. So that's why I'm using the 20s female face, Kim Pause, which, which will still work accurately for this. So, O3, let's go O3 now. Let's go O3. So double click on this to get this O3 around here. <coughs> yeah, this is just a sub point in power. Let's have to redo this all over again. I wish they, I wish in, in a later version they would they would just make this setting. Once you just set it, it should just be there. The way it is. But no worries, just the fine. We can always <coughs> Can always go back and just continue working in this. So there's a directionality to this. You can see like some wrinkles in the, in the center. So keeping that in mind, keeping that in mind with symmetry turned on. Do that around the areas. You can see like so. Now if you zoom in, you can see the directionality. <clears throat> directionality of the scale of the of this ring on the four in this in this direction no device am i just taking a look at this again you know, it's better with this bring material on let me undo this let me just do this with symmetry turn off instead I'm missing something. So I'm just repeating that also, following the same directionality. I'm using the same, using the same O3, alpha O3, making sure, making sure I'm following the same directionality to it in the center, around here also. I'm using the line as the anchor point for this. The wrinkle line in the center of the forehead as a as my anchor point for it kind of know the directionality of this. Should do another one around the air. Like so. That's wide enough. Keeping in mind the size. You want to stay consistent with the size. You don't want to be big too big than the other one. So stay consistent with the size. And the center part, I was just going to do do something like this. And that should be fine. <clears throat> so this is how we're just going to continue on and then keep mapping this around here. So the directionality of this, let me just use the um, max pen rather. So the directionality of this is like so, something like this. Let me undo this and turn on symmetry. So the directionality of this on the forehead is like so. So can see the directionality of this kind of following the forehead like so. 
So trying to establish that, that's why you can see the ring kind of in the same direction. And to do is not completely perfect, but it's at least good enough for what you need it for. And let's see. Uh, I think we seem to be use the O3 a bit more. Seems to be use the O3 a bit more. So with symmetry turned on, we're going to carry on with that around here. You know, making sure we're following the same directionality. Okay. I want to try as much as possible to fill up gaps as much as we can. No, no, the directionality for that is wrong. Let's, let me just get the closer look to be sure. Yeah, it's wrong. I say it's, it's going downwards this way. When it's supposed to be going like this. So it's, it's more or less like going downwards like so. Instead of going this way. So let's fix that. So we're going to redraw that again. Yes, something like this should be fine. So now let's switch this over to let's switch this over to uh ring O2. Let's switch this over to uh O2 uh, should be the one. So this is where I'm just going to take another closer look to be sure. Uh, green cool, or rather skin for O1 seems like a better option. Almost seems like a better option. Yeah, it feels like a better option. Mm, let's see. Let's check O5 instead. Uh, O5 has less wrinkle in there. I think I'm going to be using O5 instead. So it's just a matter of figuring which one would look better. I think O5 is better. O5 is But the reason why O5 is better is because I'll show you guys in a bit. Let me first select it in there. The reason why O5 is better is because Around there, there's no really directional directional wrinkles around there. You can see directional wrinkles is kind of flowing in this direction, but the wrinkles they're not so much wrinkle around here. So I want to use something that is kind of a bit neutral. A good example is if you look at this old tree now. You can see the directionality of this wrinkle following this forward direction like so, and we don't want that around here because you can hardly see any of those around here. Because this is like this region here. Let's see if we can mark this out. This region around here, like so, is what we have. Is this, is this gap we have around here? So we don't really have a, a value for that in here. There's no number for that in here. So we're going to use something that is a bit neutral in directional skin pose there. So which is this 05. This two would have been better, but you can see there's a directionality to it around. It's a wrinkle detail around here in the forehead. Though they are still from the same forehead, but this one looks a bit neutral. So let's use this O5 instead, which we have already chosen. So I want to start this. Let's make sure. Make sure put this 45 again. O brand value of 10. Yeah, with this, this is fine. With symmetry turned on, it's completely fine. Yeah, perfect. Can see how is can see how it's kind of neutral. That's a neutral. It doesn't really have so much directionality to it. So it's a bit, it's a bit neutral. Let me do this again, but kind of see for the same directionality to it though. So let's repeat this. 
around here. Uh, the skin is kind of we have a lot of detail in here though. But no worries, that's that's fine, that's fine. We we'll just blend that in with the others. Not sure I did that correctly. Let me be sure if I did that correctly. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Okay, let me zoom out. I think I will just continue that on towards the towards the eye region, somewhere around here. I'll just continue that on. So just still keeping in mind the same directionality and the size also very important. Making sure the size is also right. Let's go under this and continue this on here. And we're also staying consistent with also kind of staying consistent with the intensity of the with intensity rather but we need to break that later on so I'm going to increase this a bit more probably something around 21 let's see yeah something like this around here also like so can we continue this on? Can we continue this on? Probably. I want to fill this part up. Fill this part up. Fill these parts. Now nah, that's just way too big. Let's do something like around there. Turn up symmetry. Um, that oh, I'm going to be too fine there, but that's that's fine. I'm still going to blend all of this down. Mm, think. I think I'll just carry on with this instead. Let me turn that off. Let's use a. Hey, oh no, symmetry is turned off. So let's turn on symmetry for this. Too close. And mm, not so neutral. And it's a bit too intense. Let's take this down. 18, I'll probably 20. Oh, it's still on 18. Let's put this to 20. And something like this. Uh, let's try this O1 instead. Let's okay. Which one? Let me see which one would be better actually. Yeah, I think O1 is a bit is slightly better. So let's use O1. Okay, symmetry turned on. Is O1 there already? Okay. Uh, let's get this number in place. Okay. Probably a full on side view should be fine. 
Let me figure out the directionality of this. Uh, this feels very harsh. Let's take this down. 14. Yeah, it should be fine. 14 should be fine for this. Okay. I'm just going to use this to fill all this part up. All right. Something like that should be fine. Let's see. Let's carry this on. All right. I think I can actually use this old one to fill up to fill up some of this gently. To fill up some of these areas. But I want to avoid making it too noisy, but you don't want something that is too noisy. So you might want to play with you might want to play with the intensity of that. Kind of figure out which one works best. I'm just doing this kind of fill up the top eyelid. Let me get this to the side. Yeah, this works perfectly fine to fill up all this region. Especially on the top eyelid. Yeah, this works just fine. Do we have something around here? Fill this part up also. Okay, another tricky part is another tricky part is the eye. This part of the eye is really tricky. It's really tricky. So, uh, to get that correctly, you may need to kind of create some kind of marking around there. Need to create some marks, and so I will just max these parts like so. Yeah, all this part like so. Invert the marks. Supposed to blow this out, but I need to go to a lower subdivision level like, to kind of blow this out properly. So let's go to a lower subdivision level. Let's blow this out some more. Then go to the highest subdivision level. Uh, let's figure out which one we should which we can use for this. Which one can we actually use for this? Uh I'm guessing I need to max out. Let's grab some of this also. Go to the lower subdivision level. Too low. Let's blow this out here instead. Alright, so this one has so much ring on the uh, 7. 24. Uh, let's give 7 a shot first. Seven, 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 seven. So number seven. Okay. Let's see.
this is the IS sub, no, this is not the IS subdivision. Let's go to the IS subdivision level. Okay. First of all, let's do an quick save for this. All right. Let's see how we can make this work. So let's get a good angle to this. It's kind of tricky though. So rotate this this way. Yeah, I'm doing this all. Am I doing this correctly? Yes, I believe. <clears throat> I'm doing this almost correctly. Yeah, almost correctly. Almost correctly. Almost. Let's start from here again. So I'm doing this with symmetry turned on. Almost correctly again. Should probably start from here. Yeah, something like this should. Something like this should work. Yeah, I think we can live with this. Yeah, something like this. This will work perfectly. So we can go out of this now. Yeah, some this is more or less what we need. Yeah, this is more or less what we need. This will work just fine. Yes. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This will work. This will work. This will work. So, um, I think we have this one for the top part of the nose. We can set up a wrinkle on the top part of the nose. So we can use one of those wrinkled. We can use one of those wrinkled detail for. The lower for the nose. So let's start with the nose first. I think O3 should be O2 or O3 should be fine. Uh huh. Uh, let's come in here and choose O3, O3, O3. Okay, O3 should be fine. So for the nose, I'll, I'll make sure I turn off symmetry. You don't need symmetry for this. You don't need symmetry for this. So let's get a closer view in here. I think we might need to increase this all the way to 19, 20 should be fine. Like so. No, I'll reduce that. Yes, seventeen. Let's stick with seventeen. Yeah, something like this. So following the same, following the same directionality, very important. Like so. Let's get this. Let we can turn on symmetry now. So we can do the same on the side. So all the way here, yeah. making sure let me make sure this, uh, this directionality is no, nah, it's not going the same directionality. Let's make sure we capture the same directionality here, yeah, something like so. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure about the directionality for that though. Okay, something like this should work. Same here. Now let's figure out the directionality for that. Okay.
Okay, I think that should be fine. Turn of symmetry for this. Let's get this around here. Let's do something around here also. Oh, turning on symmetry for this. All right. Turn of symmetry. Okay, now symmetry be on for this. Not so important though, but let's just get something in there. All right. Uh, I still have a long way to go though, but that's fine. The main, our main focus is just mostly, mostly around, mostly around the face and just, just this slower part also. So let's carry on. Uh, there isn't really nothing. Mm. Uh, nine. I think she was nine now. I believe. But I think I need to fill this part up with one. Let's go to one one. One 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 one. Settings are there already. That's cool. Symmetry is turned. Symmetry is on. That's fine. Let's get something around here like so. Train as much as possible not to interfere with any other ones that will be there that might cause an issue. Let's fill up these parts. Okay, so I think nine. We can use nine now. This eight is close to the next label fold. Eleven is directly on it. Zoom out again. Zoom in a bit more and then try to figure out here. It should be around here. Then now we can walk our way around. We can walk away for nine around here. Can we walk our way for nine around here? And around here also nine should fill up this part. Then eight. Eight should be eight should kind of fill up this part like so. Then we would have eleven around here. Then ten should fill up these parts. So that's like so that's like the way we're going to go around this. So let me just move that mark. So it's 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 but I love 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 if I got if I get banned in on YouTube for using abusive or with it words. So love love less is number love for this. So I'm going to be using it's ish love for this let's 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 add some love to this so first of all let's make sure alpha is is on mid, mid values on 45 10 roughly around here okay yeah like so okay though i've already filled up most of this part but let's just see what it gives us See what it gives us. It's looking a bit noisy. It looks, it looks a bit noisy. But it seems to match up that quite nicely though. It seems to match up quite nicely. Let's reuse that around here also. It's too close, so there's too much noise around here. Just way too close. Uh, okay, yes, it's to go around here again. Reverse this like so.
I don't think I did that correctly. This 8V is a bit noisy though. It comes with so much noise. It comes with so much noise. Uh, well, no problem, let's just carry on. Round here. Let's see how much. Okay, I think that's fine. See if we should just go. We just go gentle on that. We should do that quite nicely. If I'm not enriching into another region that involves another using another number of alpha. Okay, I think we can use nine now. Can use nine now. Nine, 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 nine. Symmetry on. Oh, yeah, symmetry is on. So this is nine. Alpha ten forty five. So we can use now. Let's figure out the directionality for this nine. Now is even very close to the eye region, but I believe it doesn't work. Let's see if it work around here. Yeah, this definitely looks looks very neutral. It's like a very neutral skin for. Okay, you can use that to fill up all these parts. Think now we can use eleven around here. Around here, we need to use eleven. Then ten should fill up this part. Okay, so ten, twelve. Then we have eleven filling up these parts. So that's like general idea behind this. So let's do this now. So let's start with 11. Forty-five, mid value forty-five. Uh, ten ish or nine, eight, anyone should be fine. So eleven should be around here. Let's make sure we're doing this correctly. With the same directionality to it, yeah. Something around here, yes. Yeah, see how close it is to the lips, which is fine. I think we can also use that close. Let's see, I think we can use this around here also. No, directionality doesn't look right. Yeah, if it's nice, if it's right from down with those, so something like this. Something like so. Something around here, like so, also. That seems fine. Okay, uh, then we said we're going to be using 10, 12. I think we can still use 11 downwards a bit more. Because 10 is kind of so it's almost like around the jaw region, so let's continue with 11 around the air. No, I think that is 12 territory, that should be 12 territory. Uh, Just looking at this. Let's use 10. Let's see how 10 looks. If 10 or 10 doesn't feel right, I think I'm not going to use 9 instead. So let's use 10. So 
So then let's see what you got. Let's see. Okay. Fair enough. I'm trying to figure out the directionality for it. It's kind of facing a bit downwards a bit more. So let's carry on with the same directionality for it. Let's get 10 all the way around here. Is there anything special about 12? Not really. I think I'm just going to carry on with 10 all the way down here. Feels a bit too large. Okay. Oh, might need something a bit harsh for the lower part of the neck. I figure out which number looks would work best for it. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 11 looks like a 11 looks like a good number for the neck yeah, 11 looks like a good number for the neck well let's just carry on with come on uh Okay, let's see. I think we're reaching into number six, number 16, rather. But I think this will work just fine around here. It should work very fine around these regions, like so. Like so, that should be fine. It should be fine around here too. And let's go with 16 now. So 16. 16, 16. First of all, let's do a quick save. Then we have 16 in here. And 17. So there's not a number there, we'll just pick the lips next. Okay, yeah, the neck. Okay, ah, uh, 16. 16. 10 ish. 40 something ish. Okay, so, so it should be a wide one. Yes, we captured it quite nicely, like so. Think, think I'm actually going to use this for for the neck region. This looks like something that will work pretty well for the neck region. Probably the under part of this also. But before we do, let's first come, let's first finalize on this. Okay, then 17. Okay, we do not need symmetry for this, so let's turn off symmetry. Let's start from the top all the way here. Get let me be sure if I'm doing that correctly. Not sure if I did. Sp 
part this one feels very noisy though there is the center part also let's see if we can get this around the edge so okay I think I'm first figure out something. I can actually use 16 and 17. I can use 16 first on the neck and I can overlay that with 17. That would work just fine. So let's come back. Okay, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. 16. Symmetry turn on. Probably need a bit more intensity for this, so let's put this around 21. Uh, not too much though. I don't want it to be too noisy, so let's take this down to let's try 18, 18 in no, rather 19 instead. Yes, 19 should work. <clears throat> so trying to flow the same direction now. Let's see. Like so, turn off symmetry in here. Okay. I might not even need to use 17 again. This oops, oops. Did I think? Symmetry should be turned on. Okay. I do not think I'll need to turn off symmetry. I do not think I'll need to use turn off symmetry. I need to use 17 again. This should it should be just fine. Get this at a good angle. Down direction, line direction looks weird for that. So, like so, I'm going to show you guys the trick to kind of intensify all of these skin pores with the from the layer menu. The trick I just figured out recently to intensify all of this, and it's not it's not this smooth. It's not this smooth. So, we're thinking it's smoothing that out, and then probably that's. Not that, but that will work though. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. If you're using the flip normals method for kind of intensifying your layer detail, yeah, something like this should be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, center parts. Uh, think, I think I can still reuse. Can I still reuse this but let me can I see if you can still reuse this around here? Yeah. Ah nope. 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 Probably let's reduce the probably maybe if we reduce the intensity that should help us. Yeah, kind of kind of you can just reuse this instead. Turn of symmetry and just okay. Let's see how that looks if it's if that would work. Just 
like it to work just fine. Yep, yep, it's worked just fine. So we have successfully filled all of this up. So now let me just let me just show you guys the trick to intensify this. So so the trick to intensify this would be turn this off, then duplicate it, duplicate the layer. This is merged down, so let's start by duplicating this layer. Like so. So as soon as I duplicate that, you can see how. You can see how it's intens it intensifies the pores around this even more. So all of what we have done becomes intensified. So let me hide, let me hide, let me do this one more time. Now it becomes way too intense. This is way too intense though, but I don't want to I don't want to keep it back up, so I'll turn off this, select this. Turn it on, then merge this down. So you can see merge down. So let's merge this down. So you see the same thing. So now we have like double of the of the intensity for this. Then we can now tune this down. You can see how we can kind of intensify that by doubling it, by duplicating the layer, same layer, merging it down, and then and then or oh, duplicating and making it down basically basically it's then you can now tune down the intensity for it to your desired results let me get this more a bit more in let me get this at the value of 0 0.7 then i'm going to turn on my base skin pore for this So with all of this in here now, you can see how why is this key, why is a pause on the lips? Ah, the pause on this. I mean to smooth. I mean, just need to smooth that out. I need to smooth that out before adding my pretty my skin pause. But you get. I'm sure you guys understand. But you can see how. But it looks too intense, though. So we need to tune down the intensity for the both of them. So let's start by tuning down the intensity for the XYZ pore. Okay, now this is an inverse of this. An inverse of this kind of looks better though. But way too intense. So definitely way too intense. So let's try this at negative 0.5. All right. Then the skin for detail. Uh, why? Okay. Okay. Important is actually gives us like some pores around this, like some pores that are coming out instead of in. I think I can actually, I can actually, I cannot really work with this that much. But this is kind of a good way to kind of have some variation around this though. Like some skin pores, some skin pores poking out. I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I'm not sure about how that would work though, because you can't really break up the variation for this. Can't really break up the variation for this that much. Okay. But ideally we don't want this poking out, so we want this back in here. But I think a value of a value of zero point four should be should be good enough so now looking at this now you can see how we have like the perfect blend 
so this feels this feels more like the perfect blend in between these two because when we are soft face scattering to this is just going to it's going to soft in all of this depth out a bit more but for the most part this this is looking quite good except we just have to might just need to repaint some of this I just need to repaint some of this skin um wrinkle detail we need to get some more wrinkle detail in there so now we can do an additional layer of wrinkle detail on top of this with them standard brush So, but I'm going to make it to be turned off for this though. This image is already turned off. So, if we should go to the eye, we can, ask, we can actually add some more wrinkle detail on top of this. Kind of intensify this a bit more. But let's stick with, let's stick with using our reference instead for this. And just finalize on the wrinkle detail on the eye. Something pretty much like this should should work. Let's go to the, let's go to the other side because we want to actually see this through this. To the skin pose, so we have to make sure it's actually in there. So that's why we're kind of <clears throat> making sure they're in there and kind of repositioning them again. Great. <clears throat> Because we kind of almost kind of lost them when we added this skin for detail on top of <clears throat> on top of this. So we need to great get them back in. It's almost like it's invisible, but this still needs to be in there. Let's zoom out. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure if I like the way this is though. Kind of went too many marks on this. Too many marks. Reduce the brush size. Okay. And do that. Kind of do something faint. Okay. Reduce the brush size again. Let's do something in the center. And do that. That was too much. <clears throat> yeah, also. Yeah, I actually lost a lot of the wrinkles we created initially. So we just need to kind of recreate them again. But it shouldn't be too aggressive though. But this quarter is not that cold, so we don't have too much wrinkle in some regions. So it doesn't look like this is giving an old character vibe. Don't want that. So kind of make them slightly almost invincible okay 
Okay. All right. Maybe some should be around here, I guess. But we should definitely okay. We already have a lot across the nose already, so so if we do a quick render for this, let's see what we have on the quick render for this. So I'll do a quick save. So in the next lesson, we're going to be working on going to be working on creating details for the lips. Yeah, we're going to be creating some details for the lips. But I like to smooth out. Let me record this instead. Skin pose for the lips. And smooth this out. It's not recording. Smooth this out. Having some more skin pores on the lips, which I don't necessarily want. So smoothing those out. All right, better. Right, cool. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. So thank you guys for watching. And bye for now.